Justine and I am so excited because today in front of me, I have the new Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio running Windows 11. Now, why I'm so excited about this is because it's basically taking one of my favorite things, the Surface Studio, the actual desktop that you can just take, fold down, put in so many various configurations, and it's so freaking cool. And I felt like it was so revolutionary at the time when they came out with this. This is such an interesting combination between the Surface Studio and the Surface Laptops, so I can't wait to try it out. I did get a little bit of hands-on time with this at the Microsoft Lounge, but now it is here in my hands for however long I, I want to hold it. So let's unbox it and check it out. Look at you, oh boy. Okay, so here it is. Let's just take this off. Instant on, hello. What else do we have in here? We've got some instructional papers. Just put those back in there. We've got our power cable. Oh, yes. Can I help you? Hi, look at this. Getting things ready for me. I guess while that's happening, we'll open up our Slim Pen too. Oh, this is a nice little packaging. Yeah, check it out, check it out. Oh, yes, look, we're set up, we're set up. Oh my goodness. This is the first time that I'm actually getting hands-on with Windows 11 in my own personal space. This is exciting. I am having like flashbacks to when I updated my PC that I had made in high school to like Windows 2000. Like it was such a crazy thing. We're like, it's here, it's here, it's finally here. Win 2K, let's do it. And now here we are many, many, many years later with Windows 11. This is really exciting. This is the Surface Laptop Studio. This is Microsoft's newest premium notebook. And even though it sort of borrows some design features from Microsoft's other devices, like the Surface Studio, the Surface Book, and the Surface Laptop, this little hybrid device definitely stands out on its own. Not only does it have a fresh design featuring a new pull forward display, it has really powerful graphics with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX card, Thunderbolt ports, Windows Hello 2.0, and a high refresh rate screen. I think the main thing that makes this Surface device so exciting is this new dynamic woven hinge design, which allows you to use it in three different modes. There's laptop mode, which arranges the device like any standard laptop with a full keyboard and the haptic trackpad. Stage mode, which is one of my personal favorites, allows you to pull the screen forward to cover the keyboard, and this will put your content front and center. And then for studio mode, you just push the screen right down into the perfect position for creative tasks like writing or illustration. The display is a 14.4 inch with 2400 by 1600 resolution and support for Dolby Vision HDR. There's also the new Surface Slim Pen 2, which is actually stored right underneath the keyboard. Now the pen doesn't come bundled with the Surface Laptop Studio, so if you do want to pick one up, it will set you back an extra $129.99, which might seem a little spendy, but this thing is so nice. It has over 4,000 levels of pressure and a new haptic motor that simulates the feel of inking on various surfaces. This really surprised me how cool it was when I got to test it out for the first time a few weeks ago. But now that I'm actually here and have it in the studio, just drawing and writing and just using it is so awesome. You can tell with this device and Windows 11 that Microsoft is really focused on making Teams calls improvements a huge priority. The depth camera and facial tracking are now smart enough to factor in beards, glasses, masks, and the 1080p front-facing camera can now adjust the lighting on your face. So if you're not in ideal lighting conditions, you'll still be in focus and well exposed. They also improved the audio experience. They've added some additional microphones, so it'll pick up your voice better. And it also now includes quad omnisonic speakers and Dolby Atmos for clear conferencing audio and music playback. Another thing that really makes this device so exciting is how powerful it is. It uses the new Tiger Lake H35 chip, which Intel just launched this year. You can get it with a quad core i5 or an i7, but the i7 version will ship with a GeForce RTX 3050 Ti. So that paired with the new dynamic 
dynamic refresh rate feature is going to make this Surface Laptop Studio so great for gaming. So the price starts at $15.99.99 and depending upon your specifications of how you configure the device, it can range all the way up to over $3,000. I absolutely love everything that Surface has been doing recently over the past couple of years. So this is no exception. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any other tech videos that I have coming out. It is still tech season. I can't wait. There's so much more fun to come. If you guys have any questions at all or anything that you'd like me to test out in the future on this device, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.